So, I decided to do a 30-day cycling challenge where I will ride my recumbent trike uh, every day for 30 days, starting uh, with only one kilometer on the first day and then adding uh, one kilometer every day. So, if you're like me, wondering how this will turn out, stay with me in this video and uh, follow me during my 30 days. Let's go! day 16 so half of the way is done I won't lie to you and say that yesterday was an easy ride it was an extremely difficult ride in the rain and with a strong cold wind it was really not pleasant and so uh, the first half of the month is over the first half of the challenge and <laughs> if we want to compare to the beginning of the challenge in the first days I can say that today I was ready in under five minutes and that included uh, changing my clothes from my regular clothes to cycling clothes and uh, my rides uh, these days are about one hour long so now the preparation and ride ratio is much better than it used to be in the beginning and also I am making much bigger circles so I can see more beautiful things around the town so now uh, you may recognize from one of our previous videos that I'm riding along the Danube in Novi Sad and it's always beautiful for me to ride along the water and today I was really looking forward to going somewhere nice and enjoy the, the sunny day that it is today day 17 it's quite windy today uh, similar to yesterday and in uh, the neighborhood there have been some wind storms and here it's not that bad but it's still quite windy and uh, they forecast some snow for the day after tomorrow we'll see about that you never know in the March what will happen <laughs> we have some I don't know I think it's such a it's some legend or a myth about Grandma March and this Grandma March she can bring uh, she can bring some bad weather in March so another change in my rides is that I started uh, listening with only one ear to an audiobook I generally prefer reading from a book than uh, listening to audio but uh, I figured out if I'm going for a ride of at least one hour each day I might as well use it to listen to some to an interesting book and uh, for the first book I chose one of my favorites uh, from when I was younger it's uh, written by Alexandre Dima the French uh, writer and it's called uh, The Count of Monte Cristo you might know that story and I'm uh, listening to it in French to try to improve my language so so far so good I realized that uh, in audiobooks you know they can sometimes read really slowly and in a nice manner so I think it might be a good way to to learn a language or not. of course you can't listen to a book if you don't know the language but to improve your language skills and vocabulary and so on it's day 18 another rainy and gray day i'm so looking forward that this weather passes and the green spring arrives but that is what it is uh, they don't ask me for my opinion when they make the weather so <laughs> that's it so for today my plan is to cross the danube on the railway bridge which you might remember and uh, uh, ride a little bit on the other side 
and then go back home it should make for the 18 kilometer ride that I have planned for today it seems that the sun is coming out to support me I'm very grateful for that thank you sun Andre always makes jokes with me that I am solar powered so when the sun is shining I'm always in a good mood and I'm in a mood for riding and going out but when it's raining or grey I'm not that motivated we can see them building the railway to Belgrade <laughs> and here we can see me reaching the end of the cyclist path Day 19. This morning there was even a bit of snow. After that there was rain, then there was sunshine, and now it's just a mix. It's cloudy but not that cold, and I'm riding along the Danube K again. Here I am reaching the end of the cycling lane along the Danube K. And now it's sad. So here we have this loop where we can turn around and go back. Today is day 20 and Andre has joined me for a ride. It's Saturday. And we bring our baskets because we will ride so that we finish or almost finish close to the local market where we will get the groceries from the local producers for the entire week. It's nice to see a cyclist traffic light and a nice wide cycling lane. Then you know you are welcome on this road. Serbia is a land of plastic still so usually if you want to buy stuff you will get a lot of plastic bags which is why we like to carry our own baskets and bags for uh, the groceries you see even with the baskets he did get quite a lot of plastic bags I knew it day 20 and uh, I am riding along the exit to the highway and uh, as it is a Sunday and, and it's morning it's uh, relatively empty and peaceful so it uh, makes a nice ride even if today is a very very cold day my fingers are frozen <laughs> because I didn't take my gloves I didn't expect it to be so cold but then I'm almost on half of my today's ride and so I hope to get home soon enough without freezing <laughs> sometimes in this recumbent position the feet can become numb after a longer ride and as it is extremely cold today my feet are frozen <laughs> If you have some advice how to overcome these problems in the winter time, you can share them with me in the comments.
day 22 it was snowing in the morning and now there is some ice rain I was waiting for the weather to get better less cold and maybe the rain to stop but as it didn't happen I had to go for the ride today there is a very strong wind and I think I think this was the hardest day so far to start riding because yesterday my feet were frozen and today I just didn't feel like going outside to the same cold weather but here I am I'm a person who doesn't like to quit so this is not the day when I will quit my challenge <laughs> and uh, I think I can still do the nine remaining days I'm finishing today's ride in the dark it's not something I like to do but sometimes it's just inevitable you can't always fit the ride in your daily schedule and sometimes it just gets too late when you are getting home but luckily I have these good lamps attached so at least I am visible and I try to go only on the cycling lanes so I'm not in the middle of the traffic Day 23 Unlike yesterday today is the first real day of spring with a beautiful sunny weather and which gives a lot of motivation to go out and ride at least for me Today my route takes me to the center It's not always easy to pass by bike because it is a pedestrian zone So for example we can't go to the front But there are some other ways where we can pass So here we can ride only in the speed of the pedestrians and we arrive to the main city square and the city hall now it's at the Catholic Church Day 24, a very, very windy day. As I was going uh, in that direction, I could hardly move. It was such a strong headwind that uh, it was almost impossible to move. But I got there and now I'm going back. And uh, in this direction, it's just pushing me and I'm just almost just sitting and enjoying. I never know how to cross this uh, little bridge across the canal because there is uh, no cycling path on either way and I prefer to just go on the sidewalks even if it's not a cycling path and it's not allowed in fact but I feel it's just too dangerous to go on the road with all these big trucks and cars going and just wait for this guy to pass <laughs> because as you see, it's a very narrow. It is the usual situation that people don't ride their bikes on the bridge, but rather walk the bike, because here a bridge is considered a hill, almost a mountain. Day 25. Today I decided to go to a part of the town where I don't usually go and try out some new roads 
and in this part of town you can never know if it will be an asphalt road or a gravel one or a dirt road like this one where I am now so I found myself a, an off-road track for today at least for several kilometers in the beginning so this road is a completely new one for me and it's the first time I'm riding here so I hope it takes me somewhere because on Google Maps this road takes me to where I want to go but with the small roads you never know if they are truly there or it is just a plan or an ancient road that once existed it's also interesting that even when you move just two or three kilometers from your usual routes you can get to some countryside while still be in the city I don't know why or who made this but it's disgusting I don't think I will go this way another time I'm so happy that I have my puncture proof tires I hope they can hold in this I don't know how to call this garbage Phew, I'm out of it same as that all my tires survived Phew. that was not nice what was that about I have no idea I, I just don't understand who would bring all that garbage and throw it on the road I mean I can guess that for some cars it's better than going through the mud but even then like I I just don't have a comment for that it's still nicer to ride in the more urban areas of the city where there are cycling lanes and it looks at least nicer day 26 today I am again exploring some new roads in the suburbs of Novi Sad and uh, I reached this rather bad dirt road but I don't know I find it still interesting to go to some new places and see some more parts of my town that I normally never go to it's so good that my trike is fully suspended and so that I can go in any road I want on a regular bike I usually wouldn't go on such a dirt road or any such suspicious roads because I don't know I just I'm not that good in keeping balance over some <laughs> some mountain paths or, or just jumpy bumpy roads and for such places I really prefer the stability of the trike and very soon I arrive to another cycling lane toward the city center now I am in one of the suburbs one of the rare suburbs of Novi Sad which has a cycling lane built its way it's day 27 of the challenge and today you can notice that the spring has really arrived I am wearing my short sleeved shirt and no jacket and it makes me feel so free today I am a big fan of summer and sunshine so in days like this I, there's nothing better than going outside for a ride or a walk, hike or whatever you like to do so today it's really and an enjoyable day and also I today I was just thinking how much easier it is on a weekend because today it's a Saturday and you know there's no pressure that you have to uh, get back in time you have to finish this and that and 
I mean, you can just uh, go at your own pace uh, without hurry, enjoy the surroundings and, and just have fun all together. On this beautiful day, I am arriving again to the Danube, to the Danube K, which you might already know is one of my favorite parts of the city. There are a lot of people out and riding today or just walking, jogging. It's a perfect Saturday afternoon. So today is day 28. This morning uh, we went with the kids across the Danube to Sremska Kamenica, which is uh, a village of, or a suburban a small town uh, just across from the Liberty Bridge and uh, there was an event of uh, collecting garbage on the banks of Danube so we participated in that and it felt really nice for a Sunday morning to do something nice for the community actually there is a, an organization called the Ecological Guards or Ecological Watch who organize these types of events in fact they started recently organizing these types of events so they want to raise awareness of the pollution and, and just garbage that lies all around us so we highly support their cause and we, we went this morning to participate in this event and yeah it was very nice but to get there we cycled some 20 kilometers 10 kilometers one way 10 kilometers back but I didn't count them toward my challenge goals so now I'm still going for my 28 kilometer ride on my trike when you go for a ride in the evening there is always something beautiful that you can encounter and that is the sunset and where could it be more beautiful than next to the water so it's day 29 there is only one day left to finish my challenge go to the right over here just like the car in front okay now look at these houses today I decided to go through one of the oldest uh, parts of Novi Sad it is called Podbara and here we can still see the houses of old style or traditional uh, once and old streets as they used to be uh, narrower this is one of the rare parts where you can actually still see uh, houses family houses like this but even they are usually just oops this is where I want to go they are usually uh, taken down to build the big uh, buildings now this is what i wanted to show you this street is the narrowest street street of Novistad. Lajarska Street, as we can see here, and this is the narrowest actual street in the city. So here we can still see some of these older houses, very beautiful ones, but not recently renovated, which is quite a pity.
here we already come to the part which has been rebuilt with these modern buildings and so on don't get me wrong I'm not a person who doesn't like modern buildings but I prefer that some of the tradition and culture remains and stays preserved and there are a lot of other areas of the city where you can build the new buildings day 30 it's the last day of my challenge and now looking back the day one with one kilometer day two with two kilometers they seem so far away and distant back uh, during these 30 days i passed through different challenges on so some days it was it was uh, difficult to squeeze in a ride but uh, it's doable and uh, I also proved to myself that uh, sorry just passed the road and I also proved to myself that I can ride in any weather uh, even if I <laughs> prefer the sun and the summer but it's not that bad if I have to go out in the rain or even in the snow I mean if you are determined to go you can go anytime it's really just a matter of the willpower you decide and you do it at least for me that's what it is and uh, for this 30 day challenge I set my mind to it and now I can say that I did it Eh bien, reprit Maud et Cristo, supposez que ce poisson soit de la brucine, par exemple, et que vous en preniez un milligramme le premier jour, deux milligrammes le second, eh bien, au bout de dix jours, vous aurez un centigramme. Au bout de vingt jours, en augmentant d'un autre milligramme, vous aurez trois centigrammes, c'est-à-dire une dose que vous supporterez sans inconvénient et qui serait déjà fort dangereuse pour une autre personne qui n'aurait pas pris les mêmes précautions que vous. So on day 30 of my challenge, I think that I am making the biggest turn, the biggest circle around the city of Novi Sad that you can make uh, by bike and uh, without leaving the city. And uh, I am very happy to say that the majority of this circle is on a cycling lane which you already know that I appreciate more than riding on the road and I guess all of us do and uh, what is interesting that this circle will be almost exactly 30 kilometers so that is the size of my city I will try to show you the, the route that I'm taking today on the map when I get home I think it's uh, very interesting to see that uh, Today I went around the whole city, at least for me it's interesting. And another interesting thing that I found out is that for any number of kilometers that you want, from 1 to 30, there is at least one route, one circle in Novi Sad that you can take for a workout. You guessed it, in order to be the best circle in the city, it has to go on this cycling lane along the Danube and of course finishing today's ride in the sunset just next to the Danube arm Dunavat Here I have a surprise dinner.
Šta? Polona, poprika, muši.